Hey friends, it's Joe Pal SVH here, coming at you with today's daily nugget for January the 10th. And this one comes from The Bowl of Saki by Hazrat Nayak Khan. Um, this one just is, again, you know, dated uh, January 10th, super great for today. Um, just like the daily meditation I shared earlier, um, I think that was that was dated for January 10th as well. So that was a meditation that was given probably to a camp um, or, you know, some sort of retreat. And uh, that was dated that date. So re really fitting how these kind of bookend and fit together. So if you haven't seen that video, check out the one that I wrote about uh, um, looking at uh, reality through the eyes of the mystic. And you'll know what I'm talking about there. But anyway, today's bowl of sake for... January the 10th from Hazrat Nikon. An ideal is beyond explanation. To analyze God is to dethrone God. An ideal is beyond explanation. To analyze God is to dethrone God. So <clears throat> I like breaking these down um, line by line, an ideal is beyond explanation. So we have our own ideals, our own idea, our own concept, our own, um, programming, if you will, about, um, about life, about God, about reality, about, um, creation, how it was created, why it was created, um, what it was created from, you know, all these types of things. Um, an ideal is beyond explanation. So the ideal behind those those things is kind of beyond explanation. It's a uh, it's it, it, it's a reality. It is what it is. There's there's you know um, the ideal um, sometimes can't be put into words. And to analyze God is to dethrone God. So. You know, I love the way that these are kind of put together because the two se the two sentences or the two phrases by themselves kind of don't seem to go together. But when you put them together, they make sense together um, because to analyze God is to dethrone God. So you can't question the unquestionable. You know, reality and truth is what it is. Real, the real is real, and you got to let it be real, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, the real is real. And you got to just um, have extreme faith, I think, is what this whole thing really, really alludes to. Um, there are things in life that are unexplainable. God is one of those things that's unexplainable. No one's ever really physically seen God or touched God. Um, we talk about God is in the in the he sense a lot. But, um, you know, we also talk about God as divine mother. Um, so this omnipotent, omnipresent, all-pervading light um, of divine intelligence, you know, is something that it, 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 it is beyond explanation. It's totally beyond explanation. And if you have a certain ideal or a certain thought of God or what God is, in a way that dethrones God, it takes away from God because God is so much more beyond what we are and what our thought could even put him into or her into or it into. Um, you know, because it's just, it's beyond conception. It's beyond the, the concepts of the mind. Um, a concept is a concept, <laughs> you know, and an idea, ideal or idea, um, are also, you know, within the mind. Um, but when you get beyond that, then that's where you get into the real. And that's, that's what I think this alludes to a lot. Um, to analyze God is to dethrone God. And, um, you know, right now with everything that's going on in our world, all the divisiveness in our nation, um, all the uncertainty that's out there, um, I know one thing more than anything, and I don't really have to worry about any of the, the, what I see or hear, um, from, from any side. All I know is that God wins. God always wins and, uh, good always overpowers evil. And I do think that we are in a time where there's dark energies, dark forces really fighting against the light. And I think the light's shining through a lot right now. And I think that, um, a lot of people that have been in darkness are looking for light. And even those, when the light comes on, um, you know, flashlight shines or the spotlight comes down, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of shocking and jarring for some that are, are really in the dark. Um, just, 
you know, um, with the, their, their level of consciousness. So with that being said, you know, it's just, it's so important to just believe and to have faith and to know that, um, there is a divine hand working through all things that there is a grand composer that's always fine tuning every instrument to make the symphony perfect. Um, and, uh, it takes time and it takes attention. It takes attenuation to each little detail. Um, but that's, that's part of it. And that's what the good Lord's given us. So, um, yeah, I just encourage everybody to stay strong, stay faithful, um, really listen to your heart, um, more than anything, just really listen to your heart, really open your hearts and, um, you know, be that light, uh, let, channel that light, feel that light, but be that light to radiate it as well, um, to your neighbor, to your friends, um, to, you know, all those in this world that need it because we got to be that light. So, uh, with that said, I will give you one last reading of the bowl of sake for today, the daily nugget. An ideal is beyond explanation. To analyze God is to dethrone God. Blessings, my friends. I thank you for your time. I uh, really appreciate all the great positive feedback that I've been getting from everybody on this channel and uh, just for all the love across the community. It's been really nice and I really appreciate it. I just wanted to acknowledge that and say thank you. Um, if you would pop over to my channel, make sure you give a like and subscribe there. Hit the notification bell so you know when I got new videos that pop up. And uh, we'll be back at you tomorrow with another Daily Nugget. And uh, got a couple live streams coming up this week with a few people on the channel. So keep your eyes out and uh, we'll be back soon. Blessings.